Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General of reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for September 2020. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, opening theme for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, September 2020. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Alright, we got two. That was fast. You get a faith in your dreams and you are good enough. Self-encouragement. You know, trust your final qualities. They can be the key to unlock your wishes, to bring them into the everyday life, you know, in order for you to achieve the satisfaction, the fulfillment that you desire. You have qualities that can make you unique, trust them, make the best out of them, have faith that your dreams with the right amount of effort can be manifested properly. It all starts within, basically, set good intentions, clear intentions, and then trust your qualities, basically. Whatever circumstance may see you involved in the love arena, professional endeavors, um, personal life, paths, you know. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this combination for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, September 2020. Here we go. Six of Cups, beautiful. Knight of Pentacles, Death Energy, Eight of Cups, The Emperor, Hanged Man, Three of Cups, The Star, Ten of Cups, beautiful, beautiful, bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, challenges, you know, along the journey, we know that they are part of the, of the game, allow me to say, because even through challenges, we can bring the best of ourselves to light. We can learn major things about ourselves, about the journey. And powering through the challenges can be the best possible way to display the true colors of a person. So, let's keep this in mind. Guys. First row of energies, usually the person that you are dealing with, your person of interest. Feel free to pick your side if you feel that the reading is going to resonate in the reverse. I know that uh, you know the drill. Six of Cups, as you may know, my favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. The gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his art. Soulmate energy, past life connection, if you are willing to go down that road, I know that I would, so I'll tell you core values, fond memories, the things that can guide us, each and every one of us, even in the most challenging times of the journey. We have seen the Ten of Wands. This is an energy that is past related, that finds roots in the past. This person may be someone that has had some kind of role in your life or vice versa. In your younger years, for example, high school, college years, depending on your age, of course, but it can be someone that you know, or you can be someone that they know, maybe a friend of a friend also. I hope that you get my point. This person has uh, kind of embraced a revolution in their life because the death energy is a powerful transformation. This can be an inner process because the death and rebirth process is one of the most powerful events that can take place in our journey. It is about a transformation, um, very, very deep. I personally love the death card because it is an opportunity for me to sweep away all the leftovers from the past in order to leave an open field on an energy level and be able to manifest new things more aligned with the wishes that a person 
may desire to pursue. The person in the first row is following his heart and soul, basically. Their heart and soul is or her, depending on if they are um, male or female. They are following their heart and soul because they have realized, for some reason, maybe past experiences, that this was the key for them to move closer and closer to their wishes. And we have major wishes in the meeting of the energies, the star and the ten of cups. The knight of pentacles can be the new approach that they have implemented um, in their life. This is a trustworthy energy. Honest, sincere, loyal. Yes, it is the slowest of the four knights in the deck. We know that, but we also know that this knight will power through the finish line even if it may take a little bit more time than the others because he pays attention to the little details to the small things he holds the ace of pentacles in his hand meaning that he knows how to bring to the table the real deal basically the most suitable way of doing things of dealing with the circumstances a mature approach wise also something that some of you at least may truly like because in the second row of energies guys usually you watching we have an interesting combination which is offered by these two major arcanas, the Emperor and the Hanged Man. Now, I would like to say this, the feeling that I'm getting with the Eight of Cups goes with the general meaning that we can associate to the card, so leaving behind something that couldn't fulfill heart and soul in order to pursue the quest in order to achieve ultimate emotional fulfillment. The moon in the background grants the proper depth to the evaluation and the decision. This man is brave enough to leave something behind because he couldn't fulfill heart and soul, basically. And then he is ready to go all out on an adventure. There is bravery. The emperor is the embodiment of a brave leader. He can run an empire and set an example for all those that may look at him as a guide, you know, someone that can truly talk the talk and walk the walk. If it is indeed the case for some of you, the fact about leaving behind, for example, previous connections that um, weren't satisfying or previous endeavors that couldn't um, grant for you the expected outcome allow me to say you have embraced even you um, an inner process with the end man there is enlightenment offered by this very spiritual uh, inner path the end man is an uncomfortable position and if we leave behind something with the eight of cups it can be uncomfortable but there is a higher purpose you know with the end man because it's an opportunity to see things under a new light in a different perspective in order to implement some new way of doing things maybe even slightly different from the previous ones but this can make all the difference you know and so the emperor and the young man together are quite a combination because there is practicality and spirituality, a balancing act in order to make the best out of your finer qualities. The conversation that we were sharing about the fact that you have qualities that can make you unique and you need to trust them in order to move closer and closer to the goals. This emperor knows how to put into action a plan well thought and there is a meaningful deep thinking process with the end man this is an energy that cannot be rushed it takes its own time but 
it can be the best possible thing that can happen to someone that realizes that within the end man there are the answers that can unlock something bigger for them moving forward and in the meeting of the energies there is quite something i want to say the three of cups is about sharing joyful times and happy moments with someone that we truly care about allow me to say this the common experiences that some of you may share with some of the persons in the first row about the transformations and the leaving behind something uh, past related that can uh, be found in these flows of energies can be a source of um, conversations that can offer you common ground to relate with one another this can be a healing opportunity with the star a beautiful energy kind of the chance to be your true self with each other this can be true for the both of you this is a wish fulfillment of course now for some of you it is possible that this person or you for them is a wish fulfillment because you have always have had each other in high regards especially if you know each other um, since a significant amount of time the ten of cups can be the desire to build something together that is heart and soul driven very spiritual you know and truly a chance to fulfill a wish these ten of cups is an energy beautiful by itself it speaks about happiness ultimate emotional fulfillment it is the thing that the man in the eight of cups is going for you know but this is a partnership built on solid ground meaning with common values with reciprocal love fairness uh, respect paying honor to the other person and vice versa growing together making each other better truly a chance to uh, shine your brightest light together this is also a powerful support even in the most challenging times of the journey because we know that life is not always about rainbows and unicorns guys and the opportunity to rely on a partnership um, that can vibe in this way is truly something uh, that can be helpful now i'm curious about a couple of energies let's go for them i will start with the death energy in the first row this inner transformation ace of pentacles is a new life for this person the ace of pentacles is the one that the knight of pentacles is holding the inner transformation heart and soul driven for this person has ignited for them the chance to truly hold in their hands the ace of pentacles the key to unlock a powerful new beginning for them the ace of pentacles is the minor arcana for the sun we have a gateway in the card to power through pursuing new horizons because maybe this person now sees things in a different way kind of like the endman process but in a different uh, mode they have achieved this goal in a different mode with the death and rebirth process the ace of pentacles is a new way of doing things new life an opportunity to bring to manifestation a very solid offer a grounded offer something that can truly be the source of a new beginning that is stable reliable trustworthy truly the ace that this knight is holding and is ready to offer to someone that has a very special place in their heart with the six of cups energy now guys i'm curious about the eight of cups the brave decision to leave something behind because maybe heart and soul couldn't be fulfilled destined decision wheel of fortune another major arcana this is a powerful row of energies those of you that may have left something behind in your journey um, at some point after a very personal 
intimate, well thought decision, basically have embraced a destined path in order to raise your frequencies to the emperor level. You know, the wheel of fortune is another energy that cannot be rushed. Very peculiar that we uh, get the wheel with the end man because we are vibing in the same way. The time factor is at play. Um, a bit of patience can be involved in the mix. Patience is a powerful beer too. It can make all the difference in the building up of a solid opportunity. But have faith in your dreams was one of the Oracle Guidance in the opening. Faith we can find in the Wheel of Fortune. And so there is a calling to trust the process. And with the end man, I am feeling that um, those of you that may resonate with this reading have embraced even the faith required to trust that the process will offer you the chance to fulfill your wishes. The star, ten of cups. Now, guys, I will go for the three of cups because it's the opportunity to share moments together you know um that can be even a source of healing allow me to say uh, considering that we have the star energy that speaks uh, for itself and the same goes for the ten of cups the emperor again taking charge basically of a situation in order to experience joyful times and happy moments this can be true for the both of you because the emperor in the meeting of the energies can be a um, common uh, way of doing things. It's a confirmation for those of you that may resonate with the second row, but it can also be an encouragement um, about the reliable, mature approach that the person in the first row is able to offer and bring to the table. You can match at a uh, very similar at uh, the very least frequency this can be an auspicious factor for this uh, connection taking charge of a situation that maybe was not the one meant for this person may have led them to the death and rebirth process a revolutionary change that was able to bring in the opportunity to pursue ace of pentacles energy bringing it to the table in the connection with you the Emperor was already heart of the reading for you, taking charge of your own path, deep introspection, leaving behind something that maybe was a source of um, unsatisfying emotions, you know, for whatever reason. It was destined to be taken as a decision with the Wheel of Fortune. The moving forward can be auspicious. It has healing, wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, um, the chance to build a partnership between two individuals, two beautiful human beings that can vibe in a very similar way. Taking charge of the situation can bring in happy moments, joyful times with someone that you truly care about and vice versa. This is quite a reading, guys. I hope that I made myself clear. I will leave it at that. I'll continue on Vimeo. See you there if you want to join me. The link is below. I hope it was helpful. If you resonate, let us know. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.